This is David with TechNewsZone.com in Las Vegas. Um, doing a little unboxing video again. We had one the other day for DOS Filament. Today I got one for MakerBox. Uh, it's been a long day. I did my part-time job with Lenovo for nine and a half hours. I've been substitute teaching um, on my process to go into teaching for the whole week. So I've worked about 60, 70 hours this week. So I'm a little tired. It's David with TechNewsZone.com and Doing an unboxing video for my Maker Box. This one came kind of abused. It looks like someone sat on it. That's the way it came, like that. I opened it. Jelly beans are already gone. I think my kids got a hold of them. But we haven't eaten them yet, but they're not in the box because they already got them out of the box. Um, that'll work. Okay. There is this. There's some samples from a company called um, Materio 3D. Little, some little samples. Yes, the camera is there. Uh, and a giant hand. The giant hand! No, I'm kidding. Um, but there's samples of all the different colors they make. ABS and PLA and PETG. In the box is... Um, discount, earn a free box, what should I print? Join the community. Oh, I'm going to check it out. Fun. I love 3D printing. I'm also doing teaching. I'm trying to incorporate teaching into my three. Oh, teaching into my 3D printing. I'm trying to incorporate teaching into my 3D printing, which is a way is true. But really, I'm actually it's the other way around. Or is it? I actually did 3D printing and teaching. So, of Canada, henceforth the moose. So catalog from material. I guess there's some samples from material in the box. I'm assuming. Yep. Here. First, we have a PLA from material. Material. My bad. Um, in Canada up to the north of us, or in the United States, down below. Um, it says, hot end temperature 190 to 230. That's a huge range, so I wonder if that's right. I could try maybe somewhere in the middle, like 210. A high quality PLA, like we print it normal. It's kind of a reddish. Um, then we got Tallman 3D. Oh, I love Tallman, they're awesome. Um, this is a tea glaze, temperature 230 to 245. Eliza, we're going to use on my new snap maker that we're getting. Um, we're beta, early beta testers for, excuse my mess, I got too many wires on my desk. Well, I'm a nerd, what do you expect? Um, then I got, I'm a nerd and I know it. High temperature polycarbonate ABS alloy. That's temperature polycarbonate ABS, high temp. So, ooh, hot end 270, 290. I'm not sure I have a printer that'll print that high. Hmm. Hmm. So I will try to do this on my snap maker when I get it. I don't know if it'll do 270, but I'll go to the highest temperature it will allow and see if it'll work. If it doesn't work, then I just broke my snap maker, but I'll definitely try it. Maybe I'll call them and make sure first. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hot end temperature 190 to 220. That's good. This is a Polymax. Oh, Polymaker. I love Polymaker. Uh, Polymax 3D PLA. Looks like it's white. It's pretty obvious. We got a white Polymax PLA. We got a high temp polycarb ABS alloy. That's the one might be a challenge. I'll have to call the the proto pasta guys and see if that's even possible with any of my printers. Um, I'm getting a Pro Forge. It might be able to handle it from England, probably in a week or two. And the Snapmaker soon. I don't think either one of them can handle that temperature, but maybe my son's um, printer. He has a um, been, he's been using my Upbox Mini 2. So that one might be able to handle the 270 temperature. So we, we shall see. Um, we'll try it on that one. FabeTechNewsZone.com. It says, get your filament on. That's pretty cool. I wish I would have thought of the idea. I'd be rich now. Or richer than I am now. But I'm not here to make rich. I'm trying to make a difference. Influential Studios. I guess they're sponsors. And this is our MakerBox. From MakerBox.me. So far, we're really impressed. I also have this other big box of samples I got from DOS Filament, the other Maker Box from the other month, and then we have all these samples I've gotten in the last couple of months from all different places around the world. So there's one over there. That's from Algae, Algix. So I'm falling behind a little bit because I've been working seven days a week. So I'll have to catch up a wee bit. But maybe the next thing I'll do is this material. And earlier, my Neva, which right now is my only main printer, my Hatchbox 3D's power supply went out, but I'm going to fix it, maybe a fuse. We're getting the Snapmaker and the ProForge. Once you get the Snapmaker and the ProForge, we'll have back to having three working printers. And I, print, I fixed my Hatchbox, I'll have four working printers. We're supposed to get a GTEC E180 
to do educational events, also to beta test and review. I think my power is getting low. I think it's getting kind of dark on here. I'm down like 5% power, so. And then um, this is a um, Marvin planter printed in um, AMZ 3D. I'm actually really impressed with AMZ 3D. Um, Polymaker, AMZ 3D, Hatchbox 3D, Protopasta, Color Fab. I've been awesome. DOS filament, we're still testing. I'm going to try it on our Snapmaker. They have nice colors. I've yet to really do a lot of testing with it yet. Oh, wait. Yes, we did. That's printed. A little pumpkin right there is printed in DOS filament blue.